Good day, students. Um, welcome to the third part three of the three part series on factoring quadratic trinomials by grouping. Um, the, the level of problems I'm going to be doing here, if they appear too complicated for you, please uh, feel free to go over parts one and two of the video series. They'll help you to really master the um, prerequisite steps that I'm going to be using um, in this problem. All right, so let's write down the instructions for the problems you're going to be doing. So the task is to factor, factor the following quadratic expressions, quadratic expressions using the factoring by grouping method, the factoring by grouping method. All right. Okay, so question number one, we're going to be dealing with 3x squared minus x minus 10. Okay, so you have a tri quadratic trinomial here. The goal is I want to make this into four terms so I can group the first two together and the last two together. So how do I make this into four? All I'll do is I focus my attention on the middle term right here, and I want to break this middle term into two terms, all right? Two terms that add or subtract to give you this and have a common factor, the first one should have a common factor with 3, the second one should have a common factor with 10. All right, so what are those two special numbers that I can replace this middle term with? Uh, note that if you do not have a number in front, uh, coefficient is basically 1, all right? So 1 is basically the in invisible number, so the coefficient is 1 here. So in order to find the two numbers that I can make this into four terms so I can factor by grouping, um, I'll just label my coefficient A, B, C, and I'm going to play the X game, all right? Uh, so I'm going to make an X right here. Um, AC is going to go on the top, and then B is going to go on the bottom. So AC here, and then B on the bottom. Now, AC is 3 times negative 10, so it's negative 30. You multiply this one and that one, and then B is negative 1. All right, now I'm going to ask myself, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 30 and add to give me negative 1? So, um, in order to make this easy to do, so in order to make this easy to do, what I'll do is I'll make a, a factor tree, a factor table for the target number, which is 30. So I'm going to make a factor tree like this, and I'm going to ask myself, what numbers multiply to give me 30? So I'm going to, so the goal is to find the multiples of 30. So I know 1 times 30 is 30. Now let's take a look at these two numbers. If I add them, I'll get uh, 31. If I subtract them, I'll get 29. That's not negative one, that's not what I want. Let's try two times 15. If I add this two, I get 17. If I subtract, I get 13, that doesn't work. Three times 10. If I add this, I get 13. If I subtract, I get seven, that doesn't work. Five times six. Oh wait, five minus six is negative one. Voila, this is a pair that works. Okay, so this is a pair that we're going to be using to factor um, our, our trinomial right here. All right, so I'm going to put it in here. Let me put it in blue. 5 and 6. But wait a minute. They need to add to negative 6, negative 1, and they need to multiply to negative 30. Since your sum is negative, that means the bigger one has to be negative. All right, so I'm going to put these two in here. So we're going to have 3x squared and then uh, plus 5x and then minus 6x, and then minus 10, all right? So where did these two numbers come from? They came from here, I just put the x behind them. Now note that this equation is the same as the top one. The only difference is that it's four terms as opposed to three. If I combine these like terms, I'll get that equation, all right? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna break it down to center and factor by grouping, okay? So uh, to make this easy to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, break them down so nobody gets confused. Let me shift it over here. So I'm going to break them down, all right? So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to go 3 times x times x plus 5 times x minus, if I break down 6, is 2 times 3 times x. If I break down 10, is 2 times 5. All right, now let's look at the first two terms. What can I factor out of here? What's common? I can factor out x is common. All right, so I can factor out the x. If I factor out x, it's gone. It's as though I'm dividing by x. So these two are gone. So what am I left with? I'm left with 
x plus 5. All right, this is what I'm left with. On this side, if I take out a minus, I'm going to take out a minus. 2 is common to both sides. So if I factor out a 2, it's as though I divided these two sides by 2. And I'm going to be left with 3x. Now, since I took out a minus, this sign changes to a plus, plus 5. All right? Anytime you factor out a minus, the sign here always changes to the opposite. All right? Because minus times plus is minus. Now, if I did it correctly, this quantity and this quantity should be identical, just like in part uh, one of the video series I showed you. These two have, have to be identical. Since they are identical, I'll factor them out into 3x plus 5. And if I factor these two out, they're gone. What will I what will I what will I be left with? I'll be left with x minus two. All right? So put those two together, x minus two. And voila, there goes your factored form. Okay. Alright, let's try another example, example two. Um, what you can do is you can pause the video, try it out, see if you get it. If you get stuck, then complete the video for the solutions. Okay? So we're gonna work out five k squared plus 2k minus 3. All right, so I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker. We, we want to make this into two terms so that we can break it down the center factor by grouping. So in order to make that happen, I just need my x game. So I'm going to make my x. ac goes on top, b goes on the bottom. Let's put that there, ac top, b bottom. This is a, b, c. A times C is 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. B is 2. What numbers multiply to give me negative 15 and add to give me 2? You can do this in your head, but I'm going to make my factor table right here. So it's explicit, my, my thought process. So um, 15. 1 times 15 gives me 15. If I add them, I get 16. I subtract, I get 14. That's not 2. Moving along. 3 times 5. 3 my 5 minus 3 is 2. Excellent. That's the one that works. So we're going to use 3 and 5. Let me put it in blue. Um, we're going to do 3 and 5. Um, but how let's resolve the sign here. Since the sum is positive and the product is negative, that means the smaller one has to be negative. All right. So you see that. So I'm going to put those two there. Those are the numbers that make this into a... Uh, into four terms so I can break it down the center and factor by groupings. Oh wait, what did I change my variable? So 5k square. I'm gonna have 5k square minus 3k plus 5k minus 3. Now you see these two numbers I extracted from my my x game. It doesn't matter the order. You can have 5 first and negative 3 second. You still get the same answer whichever way you do it. Alright? That's kind of cool. All right, now I'll break it down center, and I'm going to start factoring by grouping. So from the first one, I take out... So let me break it down first, okay? So it's easy to do 5 times k times k minus 3 times k plus 5 times k minus 3. So from this one, I can take out a k, right? Take out k. I'm going to have k, and I'm going to be left... If I factor out k, it's as though they were divided by k. So I'm going to be left with 5k minus 3. And this two right here... Mmm, I can factor out anything. But wait, I can factor out 1. Anytime you can't take out anything, what do you do? You just take out 1, okay? Because 1 is a factor of every number in this world, all right? So take out 1, and I'll be left with 5k minus 3, all right? So if I did this factoring correctly, this quantity right here, and this one should be identical just as it was in the first problem, and they are. So what am I going to do with them? I'm going to factor them out, 5k minus 3. And what am I going to be left with upon factoring these two out? I'm going to be left with k plus 1. So times k plus 1. And that's your final answer. All right. Um, so there you have it. Okay. Let's go ahead and try another example. Example 3. We're going to factor um, 3y squared plus 19y. 20. All right, so now we need we have three terms. We need to make it four so we can break it down the center and factor by grouping. So 19 is our target number to be replaced. So in order to know what to replace 19 with, I'm going to play the x game to find the two numbers to replace it. All right, so I make my x. Uh, put ac on the top, b on the bottom. So ac goes on the top, b goes on the bottom. 
AC is 60 and then B is 19. Now what two numbers multiply to give me 60 and add to give me 19? You might know, but I don't know. I want to use my factor tree to make my life easier, okay? And also to make uh, everyone see exactly what my thought process is. All right, so 60. So what times what gives you 60? I know 1 times 60 is 60. If I add these two, I get 61. If I subtract, I get 59. This is neither 61 nor 59. Move on. 2 times 30. If I add this, so I get 32. By subtract, I get 28. This is neither, this is not 23. I mean, this is not 28, it's not 32. Moving along. 3 times um, 10. It's 30, right? If I add it, I get 13. If I subtract, I get 7. That's not 9. This is, this is neither 13 nor 7. Uh, let's move on. 4 times 15. It's 60, right? Oh, damn, this is what I want, because 4 times 15, 4 plus 15 is 19. Excellent. So that's what I'm going to put in the center. So I'm going to have 4 and 15. So these are these are the terms that make it possible, okay? So I'm going to have 3y squared. Now, I'm going to replace 19 with uh, plus 4y plus 15y, and then plus 20. And I'm going to break it down the center factor by grouping, okay? I'm putting this partition here so I, I, I don't get confused. I can keep a visual cue um, as to what my terms are and where the, what the midpoint is, okay? So let's break everything down before we factor. We have 3 times y times y. Plus, if I break down 4 using my factor, 3 is 2 times 2 times y. Plus, if I break down 15, 15 is 3 times 5. And then we have the y. And then 20, what is 20? 2 to 10, 2 to 5. I'm using prime factors, okay? When you want to decompose a composite number, I want the prime factor decomposition, nothing less. All right, when you break it down using prime factors, it's extremely easy to extract common factor or to find the greatest common factor, all right? Okay, now let's take a look at this. What's common here? I can take out a y and a y, okay? So if I factor out a number, it's as though I divide it by that number. So if I divide it by y, both of these, the y's are gone. So I'm going to be left with 3y plus 2 times 2 is 4. Bam. Plus, and on this one, um, let's see. What can I factor out? What's common? 5 and a 5. So if I factor out 5 and a 5, I'll have 5 on the outside. And then I'll be left with 3y plus 2 times 2, which is 4. All right, if I did this step correctly, then these two quantities in the parentheses should be the same just as they were in number one and two, and they are. Excellent. So what we're going to do is, since these two quantities are, are the same, they're common factors, okay? So I can factor them into one, 3y plus 4, and I'll be left with um, y plus 5, all right? So I, you're going to have y plus 5 over here, okay? So basically, oh wait. So basically, that's uh, that's how to factor quadratic trinomials. Okay. Five. So thanks for um, viewing this uh, presentation. Please subscribe to my videos for our future um, updates. Um, you can also feel free to request videos just on the bottom comment. Uh, spot you can just put a comment requesting videos that you want. I'll be glad to make them for you. A collection of clips can be found on mattgodserve.com. Uh, let me know what you th thought of, think about these videos. Um, if you need more, I'll be glad to make for more for you. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.